let us draw production possibility curve for home and foreign countries using uh, unit labor requirements. Now I've just copied the earlier example which you were giving in, in our earlier recording for, for unit labor requirements. ACA, WAC star, EW star, which is the unit labor requirement for cheese and wine in home and cheese and wine in foreign respectively, star showing the foreign country. And uh, so supposedly, <clears throat> this is say for home, supposedly all labor is employed in the cheese production in home. So how many units of cheese it can produce? 120. So because it takes one hour to produce one unit of cheese and you just have 120 labor force which is which is uh, available to you so this is going to be say L upon AC which is 120 and which is QC in the home country for foreign you can produce uh, sorry for for wine you can produce 120 upon 2 that is 60 so it is L upon E W which is 60 and you join them together and what you get is the production possibility curve for home country for the foreign country there are just 60 units of labor force which is available to you or 60 hours of labor which is available to you so and if six hours of labor could produce one unit of cheese then the amount of cheese which will be produced is 10 the maximum amount is 10 so let's say it is let's say L star upon a C star which is 60 upon 6 which is equal to 10 and uh, if <clears throat> all units of labor force are employed in wine production then it will be producing 20 units of wine so it is L star upon a W star which is 20 and you join them together what you get is the production possibility curve for a foreign country So, if you want to write what is the opportunity cost of cheese in terms of wine, so it means you are producing cheese and you are giving up wine. So it means that the number of gallons of wine which you have to give up in order to produce an extra unit of cheese. So when you are producing cheese, it means that you are not producing wine. So opportunity cost of a pound of cheese in terms of wine is the number of gallons of wine that an economy would have to give up in order to produce an extra unit of cheese so which is given by AC by AW and which is equal to the absolute value of the slope of PPF so AC by AW in case of the home country is 1 by 2 and similarly for for the foreign country the absolute value so it is going to be what 2 okay and you'll find out the traded price it has to lie somewhere between this half and 2 in case the trade has to be possible okay and we'll talk about the relative prices in trade in the next recording